Hi, uh, in this video we're going to take a look at creating a to-do application in React for Web. As you can see right here, I'm going to create a simple application where you can add notes like this. And uh, we're also going to take a look at how to delete the notes just by clicking on them like this. And we will not cover how to save the notes into a database. We will only work with the local state of a React component. And also I'm going to keep the code here and I'm going to keep the browser here all the time so you can see the changes in real time. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, open up a new project I just created. Yes, a blank new project. I created the project with the create react app command. So if you haven't created a new project yet, go ahead and do that. This video is going to be two parts. First part, we're going to create the actual layout. It's a really simple layout. will go pretty fast. In the second part, we're going to take a look at uh, the actual log logic for adding notes and deleting notes. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up app.js in the source folder. We can start by deleting the logo because we're not going to use that. We can, however, keep the CSS because we are going to use that. And you can delete everything within the main div in the return function. We can keep this div here and just rename the class name to uh, container. And we will create the actual layout first, the layout for everything. And when that's done, we're going to add the CSS. Uh, so don't worry, we will add the styling in just a couple of minutes. Now the first thing we're going to do, we're going to want to add a header. So create a div, with the, give it a class name of header. And we can call it uh, React to do application. <clears throat> and we're also going to need a button, so go ahead and create a they will give it a class name of uh, button. I'm just going to add a plus sign inside the div. <coughs> and also we're gon going to need a uh, text input. And for the text input, we will go we're going to need uh, to add a reference. Uh, and now, as you can see, we're getting warnings here since everything's in real time and I'm saving quite a lot when I'm typing code. Uh, I haven't closed this div yet, so of course it's going to give a warning, but uh, nothing's wrong. That's just because the code isn't finished quite yet. Anyway, we're going to give this, uh, this text input a uh, reference. So go ahead and uh, you can name it input. We're going to use an ESX arrow function to not lose context of this. And uh, we're going to call it... Uh, we can call it text input, and it's going to be equal to this input. <coughs> Just going to close the div off so the warning disappears. So that's it. So what this ref uh, attribute actually let us do is uh, uh, manipulate this uh, DOM, DOM element uh, from within uh, React with the name text input. So it, it's a really simple way to edit DOM elements. Uh, like deleting them or changing them or whatever you want to do. <clears throat> now the next thing we want to do before we do anything more with the layout is we're going to create the constructor for the app component. So go ahead and create a new constructor, pass in the props. Oops. And also we're going to create a state. We can just create a string right now, let's call it note text, which will contain the text of the actual notes that we're going to write. So when you write something here, uh, the note text will uh, value will get updated and that's what we're going to use to save uh, the, the values in our notes. And we will create a note array later. For now we're just going to create this. <clears throat> now let's give the input type, uh, the text input, sorry, we're going to give it a class name, 
we can call it text input and also we're gonna give it a value and the value of this is gonna be uh, this dot state dot note text so what you're gonna see in the text input is gonna be what's in here which we will update as we write as, as we're writing later we're also gonna add an uh, on change function that gets called every time we uh, type something in the note text like this uh, we can call it note text and we will call a function called update note text and we'll pass note text as an argument um, and what we're gonna do in this uh, function is we're gonna update the actual state of the note text so uh, we're getting the correct value in the input field so go ahead and create the update note text function we're gonna pass the note text as argument and uh, we're gonna set the state of the note text as soon as it uh, as it changes so type note text and now we can't just type note text argument we can't just use that as it is we're gonna have to do uh, oh sorry not the event target dot value to get the actual value of the note text and also we're gonna add um, an on key press function this will let us actually press enter to have notes too we're not only pressing uh, the actual button that we're gonna create this will let us type something and then press enter and it will work exactly the same as when we press the button uh, let's create a new function for that. We can call it handle key press. I'm gonna use the bind this to not lose context. And let's create the <coughs> handle key press function. We can just uh, do like this. We can pass the event as the argument. Do it an arrow function. Um, and for now, we can just check if event dot key um, equals to enter then we want to continue um, and we will add the logic here for adding uh, a note here when pressing the key uh, enter key later we will also create a logic for when uh, pushing the button it's a little bit hard to see now, but we're actually going to add some CSS for it to style it. And I have already created the CSS for this. Um, it's a really small file, so I'm just going to copy it in the description of this video. I'm just going to paste it here. As you can see, it's a really simple layout. It's a really small uh, file, and this is how it looks. Uh, so just go ahead and paste it in your app.css. Uh, and you can style it however you want and optimize it however you want. <clears throat> so that's it for uh, the layout. In the next part, we will uh, create the logic and the functions for adding and uh, deleting nodes. So let's continue with creating the function to adding and uh, deleting the nodes. The first thing we're going to need, we're going to need a, an array in the state. We can call it notes. This array will actually hold every single note that we're going to create. Uh, but we haven't created the actual note component yet, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. So go to your source folder, create a new folder inside it. You can name it components. And in the components folder, add a new file. I can go to app.js and copy all the code and paste it here and let's delete everything inside the, the return function and also all the uh, functions we created earlier and we can rename this to this class to note also we can delete the app.css Let's save this as uh, note.js in the components folder. 
<clears throat> so this return is actually gonna hold every single note that created. So go ahead and create a new um, div, give it a class name of note. Before I do anything more, I'm just gonna change the syntax to babble. Um, like that. Close it off. We're gonna pass some props to this component from the app.js component. Uh, we're gonna pass uh, text, which is gonna be the text inside the node. And also we're gonna pass a function as props, which we're gonna call the delete method, which we will actually use for deleting a note when clicking on the note. So save the note.js file. And uh, let's open up app.js and go ahead and Import the note we just created. So import note from uh, we're in this folder in the components slash note. So now we actually got the note component ready to work with, and we got the notes array ready to fill up with notes. What we're gonna do now is we're going to start by creating a map for all the nodes, so we can display all So create a let, call it nodes, and we're going to uh, get the this.state.nodes, and we're going to map them. Map is a JavaScript function that let, lets uh, map a value to a key, or key to a value. Um, so passing the value and the key, like that. And we're gonna return the note, and we're gonna set a uh, key attribute. This is uh, necessary to do because React uses this key to uh, keep track of which components or elements has been added or deleted or changed. And if you don't use this uh, key attribute, uh, you will get an error from React telling you that uh, you have to use it. Also, we're gonna pass in the text prop as we defined earlier in the note. And the text is gonna be the value. And also, let's pass the delete method, which we're gonna create soon. Uh, let's, oops. Oh. I just did something with my finger, I don't know what. Uh, some, something sharp hit it. Never mind, it um, hurts like hell. Delete, uh, we're gonna create a function called delete note. And we're gonna pass the key of, uh, of the note. That way we can get the index of uh, this note in the array and delete it by that way. So let's see, um, let's go ahead and create the actual delete note function, we can define it up here. Delete note, yeah, we're gonna pass the key as index. And uh, let's get the notes array from this state of notes. I'm using a let here to get the notes array. And then we're gonna use uh, notes, notes array dot splice. Uh, and we want to splice the index. We want to get to the index and we want to remove one. <clears throat> so this will actually remove the, the node from the notes array. And then all we have to do is we have to update the notes array with uh, this new uh, array. So that's it, we can actually delete a note now, but we can't actually still add a note. So let's go ahead and uh, create a function to add a note. First thing we can do, we can add an onClick fu function to the button. We can just call the function add note, like that. And let's go ahead and create the add note function. Let's see what we should it we can put it right above uh, handle the key press function 
<coughs> first thing we want to do in the add node function is uh, we want to check if the node text is empty. If it's empty, we don't want to do anything. So just type return, return. Just type in return will return false. You can type like this too if you want to, but you don't have to. So yes, return, and if it's something in it, let's uh, process it and add it to the notes array. So we're just going to do like this. Uh, let notes array equals with this.state.notes. And we're going to push uh, to the notes array. And what we want to push is the note text. And also what we're going to do is we're going to set reset the state of the note text to empty because we have already added a note. And we have, when we have added a note, we want to be able to add another one. And that if, if the input field is empty, we don't have to delete anything. And also now we're going to use the reference to refocus the, the input field after it has been added. So you don't have to put your mouse back on the input field, click on it again, and then uh, redo everything. And this is the text input we set uh, uh, in the previous part, the reference called text input. So now we, now we can just tell uh, React to uh, focus on the text input right after a note has been added. So let's see. This should actually mean we should be able to add notes, but we're not displaying them anywhere yet. So let's just go here and add it under the header. We can just do like this. Notes, which is the mapped notes right there. So let's try to add something. Oh, I can't actually type anything. Let's see what's wrong. Let's see, on change text. We're calling the update note text. Right there, and we set in the state of no text to no text to target of value, which is correct. However, we're not getting the correct value. Let's see what could be wrong here. Let's try to do like this. Console of log. Uh, this is state of no text. And we can check in the console what happens when we write something. Oh, we get an Unknown event handler. Oh, that's why. Let's change that to just on change instead. Now it's gonna work. That's just an uh, error by me. Now let's see. Now if we can add a note. Test. Yes, yeah, you can see now it's working. Let's try it again. And also let's see if we can remove a note by just clicking on it. Yeah, it seems to be working correct. The only thing right now is we can't, if I type something, hello, and I press enter, nothing's going to happen. Uh, and when you sit on a keyboard, you want to be able to just click enter to uh, submit something like a note. So we're actually going to go to this uh, on, on key press function we defined earlier in the previous part. The handle key press, and uh, we're just gonna add, uh, copy from here the let notes array down to the set state of the note text, and we're gonna paste it here. And now, the reason I'm not copying the text input of focus is we don't need it uh, when we press enter because when I'm typing something here and I press enter, now it's gonna work, then it's already focused, it's not unfocusing when you're pressing enter. So that's why we don't have to use the focus of the text input there. However, if you type something and press here, it will get unfocused. And that's why we're using the text input.focus in the add note function. So now everything seems to be working. You can create as many notes as you wish and just uh, click them to delete them. 
So yeah, that's it. How to create a simple to do application in React for web. I hope you learned something. Bye bye.